In this video, I am going to explain how to install Code Server in Alpha and Linux in simple steps. To install Code Server, we need to install some packages before actually installing the Code Server. These are all the packages has to be installed. To add the package, we have to run it in sudo. So we need to add the alpha and SDK, bash, libstdc++, libc6compact, node.js, and not nam, it is uh, npm. Sorry for the error. npm and python3. Python3. I'm going to run it as a sudo. So everything is getting installed. Okay, it's quick. So after installing that, so to install the code server, the Node.js should be the version 16. But let's check the version here. What is the node version here? So we have the 18. So we have to force the node versions to be 18. So this has to be set in an environmental variable called force node version. Okay. So I'm going to set it. Code server has to be installed as root. So uh, the environmental variable has also has to be set as root. So I am I am setting the environmental environment variable for node version. Okay. Now we are going to install the code server. has to be installed globally with this command but it takes quite some time to install it see you get the warning okay but however it will work without any problem with the 18.16 node version but if you try to run the code server with this installation it won't work at present there is some issues in the github it has got some missing dependent dependencies to fix this problem we need to we need to do a workaround we need to switch to this directory after installing and then we have to run this command in the directory in the directory okay this is going to be quite fast. Okay, it's finished. <laughs> now we can try to start the code server. We can start the code server as a normal user. So now it's starting, but now it's listening at uh, 127.0.0.1. With this IP, we won't be able to access it from the external servers. So we need to make changes to the config. And also there is a default password set by the code server application. We have to change it in the config application. Okay. To change the config, to change the config, we can use nano. Okay, so you can change the bind address to zero, zero, and I'm going to change the port to be 9000, and authentication is password. I'm going to make it as a simple password just for uh, testing now 
testing now we don't install the certificate now we save it okay okay Let's save now we are going to start the code server again so now the code server is running let's test it whether we can access the code server okay for that uh, i'm going to open the chrome browser now we are going to access the code server from the host and let's see if it works or not yeah it's working it's asking for the password yes now it's okay we are able to access the code server we said i like the dark theme so we are going to access the dark theme so explore